these right here, these crazy popular wireless earbuds came out in 2019, at the start of 2019. These came out in 2019 as well, at the end. They differ around $130. These AirPods 2 are still 130 or 120 and these are 250. Now in this video, I will tell you why I don't use AirPods Pro and I personally don't think they're worth it. Let me explain why in this video. Now, this is my personal opinion. So the opinions may vary. It's just what I think. And it's just the arguments that I could come up with. I just don't think for students or if, if you're on a tight budget to spend 250 on these, maybe if you want these for portability, but if not, I will just say it right away. I think you should get these things. These are the Anchor Sound Cure Q30, I believe. They certainly don't have the same build quality as the AirPods Pro, but I think it's the better bang for buck. They are around 70, 80 dollars, I believe, and they just offer better noise cancelling. It's just over ear, which is superior anyway and they just do a better job in transparency and noise cancelling and sound quality too they're great for sound quality they don't offer spatial audio or lossless but if you connect them via 3.5 millimeter jack uh, you get like zero latency and i do think they advertise hi-fi audio via the audio jack i'm not sure about that claim personally i don't really hear the difference in sound quality between wired and wireless but at least you get that option if i want to have noise cancelling it's typically when i'm getting down to do some work or to get in the zone or when taking a walk i never need the noise cancelling like on the go so these are more for having noise cancelling stationary but if i am on the go i usually don't really want noise cancelling because i gotta be alert in my environment so that's why i do still use the airpods 2. i know the airpods 3 are out but even though they have this like this equalizer built in and stuff and i do believe they do sound better I just don't really want to spend the money for the AirPods 3. Also because I know they're ugly, but they these have these long things which have the battery inside of them. It's just very easy to grab. It's just very easy to grab and then get into it. You can like the, get like the wireless charging case for it because it doesn't have that, but I don't think that's worth it either. For students on a budget, I would get like maybe used AirPods 2. And for noise cancelling, the Anchor headphones. I do think that's the uh, the ultimate combo right there. You even get like a case. Do I have it? Yeah. <laughs> you get like a pretty good case, you know, that what Sony does with their high-end headphones as well. And even if you think this, this is all like still quite a lot of money, there is so much competition in the wireless air, true wireless earbuds market that other brands like, man, even Lenovo offer great value because these are have the form factor of the AirPods 2 because with the hard tip, I do like the hard tip because then you can still kind of hear your surroundings. I know it's not a popular opinion, but like I have the rare type of ears that fits these hard tips earbuds and these ones do a great job too. They're like $15, I think, and they pair really well with Android as well. The sound of these, by the way, is okay for like listening to podcasts, but I just wouldn't do it for like listening to music or if you really really value high audio quality all the time. I will link all of these uh, earbuds, by the way, in the description down below if you're interested. If you want to get a bit more high-end, then you can look at like maybe some Sony XM3s, like the wireless earbud version. Although, well, that is better than the AirPods Pro, but it's also still above 200 euros. So I find the uh, LG Tone series to be great. They offer quite good value for money. They offer very good sound quality, reasonable noise cancelling, fast pairing, water resistance. And this, this case even has two little features. It is like, yeah, you can see the blue light on there which means it's like <laughs> kind of cleaning your wireless earbuds from bacteria. And the cool f feature of this one is that like, if you have the right cable, which LG provides, USB-C to aux, you can put the USB-C in here and an aux cable in any dumb device with a headphone jack, like a TV or even an Xbox controller. And then have this as a little dongle, but then you can turn a wired solution into a wireless solution. They fit great too. I really do dig these. And yeah, with these type of things, with a silicon tip, you have great passive noise cancellation for if you, you know, want that extra edge on the cancellation part. But like I said, I think for cancellation, you really just want it when you're getting down into a focus mode. So then I do think headphones offer better bang for buck. That was my little TED talk about earbuds. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.